name is Aubrey and I work for the New Media Writing Studio and today I'm going to show you how to use GarageBand to create a recording and then edit the track until it sounds the way that you want. Knowing how to work with tracks can be really useful, especially if you're making a voiceover for a project or if you want to combine different music tracks. GarageBand works pretty much only on Macs, so if you do want to use the GarageBand app but you have a PC, that's okay. Just head over to the New Media Writing Studio in Scarborough 2003. The staff there will hook you up with a Mac, and you can just go ahead and get started on your project. Also, quick note, a free alternative to GarageBand is an app called Audacity, which works on both Macs and PCs. It's free and it's easy to download, even though it looks kind of like a sketchy website whenever you first look at it. Um, but it does work. For me, it's not as efficient as GarageBand, but you can certainly try that out. Also, if you'd like a personal tutorial about working with Audacity, just drop by the New Media Writing Studio and a staff member there would love to help you. Since I already had uh, the app open, I'm just going to say new. So I'm going to choose a uh, voice icon because I'm going to record a voiceover for this project, but there are several other options like if you want to record instruments, or if you want to record a ringtone, or even electronic sounds. Um, also, if you need a really high recording for your project, you can go to the New Media Writing Studio website at www.newmedia.tcu.edu and fill out a request reserve form so that the studio can actually loan you microphones that are really nice and camera equipment. But if you don't want to do that, that's okay too. You can use your earbuds with a built-in mic or you can just talk directly into your computer like I'm doing right now. So I'm going to choose voice right now and then they come up with all these like different effects um, so click the track that you want to work with and make sure it's highlighted so it's, this is what it looks like when it's highlighted so I have narration vocal selected right now before we get started here's a tip if you're recording a voiceover for a project write out a script so it'll be easier to sync your voice track with your video footage I know from personal experience that if you just ramble, it's really hard to make all your images line up with your voiceover. So write out a script. Also, try to only record one paragraph at a time, and then you can splice them together in um, iMovie, for instance. Also, the tracks will be shorter, and it'll give you a little more wiggle room to line up your narration with your images. Okay, so make sure you've clicked on the track you want to record. This is the narration vocal, and I recommend using it because it's simple and it has a really straightforward sound. So whenever I start recording a voiceover, I always announce what paragraph I'm going to read and what take number it is so I can line up my tracks in order if I import them into iMovie or Movie Maker. So now you're ready to record, all you have to do is click on the track. So push the red button and talk into the mic. Paragraph one. I'm already fine out. <laughs> After you record your first take, you can listen to that take, make a new track, or delete the track that you just made. So to listen to the track you just recorded, press the button on the left of the play button, which is this button right here. It just goes back to the beginning. And then if you want to listen to that, you just press your space bar, you press the play button. To uh, make a new track, click the track pull down menu on the top left and select a new track with duplicate settings if you want the same settings as the track that you just used or select new track if you want to build your settings from scratch. To delete a track you just click on the track and then press delete. And if you don't want to do that you can just say undo delete. Also if you want to delete only part of the track but not the whole track click on the scissors icon on the top left of the screen. So this is an, an enlarged uh, section of the track that you can work with. So you can press play or the space bar to hear what it sounds like. So to choose the part that you want to cut, say I want to cut this part at the beginning so I didn't really say anything. So you click and then you just drag the section and then just push delete. So it cut my track in two but that's okay because I didn't say anything here anyway. So I just select that little sliver of track and just delete that. And then I can just move my narration vocal all the way over to the beginning so that it starts right whenever I push play. So now you know how to make a functioning recording with GarageBand. It's pretty easy.
So what happens if you want to add another track, like background music behind the narration? Click on the camera and musical notes icon on the top right corner of the screen, right here. This should give you access to your entire iTunes library. So you can select a track from iTunes and drag it right into your <laughs> right into your project. And yeah, I have a lot of random soundtrack stuff. So I'm gonna pick this one. What's it say? This is a soundtrack from Little Women. But I don't want it in fuzzy vocals. I just want to put it in classic vocals. And now I want it to be my background music. So in order to have my background music softer than my narration, I'm going to click on the track that has my uh, background music on it, and I'm going to turn down the volume so that it's much quieter than my narration vocal. I'm going to do a little bit more. So my narration vocal is at this volume, and my uh, background music is at this volume. All right, so if you don't want to... Um, your narration to start at the same time as your music, then you can just slide your track down, and then your music will start first, and then, here, let's see what it sounds like. Paragraph one. Um, if your music doesn't start where you want it to start, that's okay. Just make sure you click on that track, and then, and then you can move the region down, or you can cut the region, just like you do with um, your other tracks that you just recorded on GarageBand. So I am cutting this track so it starts, so you can tell this is where the music starts. So I'm gonna move it back down there and let's see what it sounds like. Paragraph one, I'm already fine out. <laughs> cool. All right, so it worked out perfectly. The music starts right when I want it to, and my narration, my terrible narration starts a few seconds later. Also, don't feel like you have to add the music on top of the narration in GarageBand. You can also do this later and add it in iMovie. And if you want to watch a tutorial about how to work with audio in iMovie, there's a great tutorial that Alex did that's on the New Media Writing Studios website, so check that out. And I hope you guys have a great day.